Friday, the uh, 25th of March, and it's a pleasure and joy to come into your homes or your places where you're watching this. Um, I wanted to um, remind you that today is the Peace of the Annunciation, when the salvation of, of the world and all of us was started, really, when the angel announced to Mary that she was to be the mother of the Lord, the Savior. And today we had in the cathedral, it's nine o'clock, and they didn't fill the cathedral, but it was it was a good crowd. Um, a beautiful mass of consecration to the Immaculate Conception, Immaculate Heart of Mary, of the Ukraine and Russia, and praying for peace in that very troubled land. And um, it was a wonderful crowd, wonderful turnout, joining in in the consecration, and our bishop. Um, Give a most inspiring homily, and we're, we're glad for all those who came. Thank you for those who showed up to make that really a, a wonderful celebration for our, not only for our parish, but for our diocese too. Um, I remind you that uh, uh, next Saturday, a week from Saturday, on the um, uh, 2nd of April, the Yakima Symphony Chorus, a beautiful chorus, by the way, wonderful quality music. You, I don't think you'll find any better in the whole state. It's putting on a concert um, in our cathedral at 7.30 in the evening. Admission is by donation. If you want to buy a ticket, it's $15, but if, whatever you want to give. And you're more than welcome. I hope a lot of you will come. It's a really a, a, an artistic joy to be able to host this group for our um the, for the annual concert here at our, at our cathedral. So that'll be on Saturday, a week from Saturday at um, 7.30 here in our cathedral. And there's going to, you're going to feature works by Benjamin Britten and Vaughn Williams too. And they're beautiful works and piano and organ will accompany them and it's really going to be a wonderful concert. So please come. I want to remind you also the Christmas Mass is, is a week from next Tuesday on the 5th of April. It's going to be at 7 o'clock in our cathedral, and it's the opportunity for us to join in with our bishop and all the priests of our diocese. Most of them can come uh, when we consecrate and bless the oil, sacred oils used in the sacraments, baptism and confirmation, um, anointing of the sick, and also, um, forgetting one here, oh, holy orders, yeah, sure. We, uh, those, and also, the priests renew their commitment to serve our people of Central Washington. It's a great affirmation of you, the people of the diocese, um, to be here. And just that they, they can see that you're behind them and supporting them and praying for them. So I would encourage highly that you join us on that Tuesday evening, the 5th of um, April, at 7.30 for the Chrism Mass. 7.30 or 7? Oh, 7, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. Yep, my goof. 7 o'clock for the Chrism Mass. We're going to also host the priests here in our chapel for an afternoon of reflection with the abbot of um, St. Martin's Abbey in Lacey, Washington. He'll be over here giving an a, a afternoon of reflection for our priests and deacons. And, um, and we also will host them at a, a, a dinner in our cafeteria. We finally got that open and it's usable. Cafeteria and also the gym. We're able to open that for our youth activities. Um, we're still kind of limited, but we have the use of it. Still don't have any information to tell you about the future of the school. I just don't know anything yet. It's taken a long time for the insurance companies to figure out what they, what they can do, and I respect that, but it's just, I'm not very patient when it comes to waiting this long. Um, but we pray that we'll be able to at least, at least fix up the old school, but I hope preferably, as our parish council wants to, that we can actually demolish the old school, the major school, keeping the gym and the cafeteria and just um, building a two-story basement and one-story addition where our school is now. It would be much more efficient and much more practical. We can put reception rooms in and move our parish offices over there and all that sort of thing. So we hope that we can do that, but it's up to the insurance company and what, they, what they're willing to, um, to pay for, actually. The whole school, of course, is unusable right now. The main school building. Um, 
I want to let you know about the collection we took for the Ukrainian war relief for the for those who um, survived the, and went into Poland and other countries right adjoining um, the Ukraine. We were able, with your cooperation, because you made it possible, to send an aggregate check for thirteen thousand nine hundred and thirty-four dollars and seventy-five cents. And if we get more this week, then we'll just add that to the to the total. You you always have been generous for important needs, and that's one of the most important needs that we've had uh, to, to face. And thank you for your generosity, your continuing generosity, not only for those needs beyond our parish, but for your continuing support of us here in the Cathedral Parish. We're so blessed to have a um, to have a um, parish that is so generous. Um, I, I want to remind you that there's only a couple of weeks left, a few weeks left for reconciliation. Um, this week, uh, Saturday at 4 o'clock, and Tuesday, this coming Tuesday at um, 6 o'clock, we'll have those opportunities for reconciliation. The extra Tuesday evening is for make up for the um, penance services that we're not able to have because of the COVID, which is still with us. Again, we want to remind you, if you feel more comfortable wearing a mask, please do so. Or if you have a cold or you have um, a weakened immune system, please wear a mask. We will do that for communion because we come so close to you. But apart from that, we, we've kind of done away with ourselves, the priests, the clergy here. But uh, we want you to be safe. And so if you feel you want to wear a mask, go right ahead. You don't have to, but if you feel you want to, you're welcome. I think that's about all I got to do today. Todd, tell you today about what else is there, Sean? Walking with uh, walking, walking together ministry. Walking together. Oh, yeah, that's on April Saturday, 9th. the ninth of April. Yeah. Our Spanish community, especially but not solely, has invited the whole parish. It's a sign of unity. Bring us together from eleven thirty to two in the courtyard. It's a kind of a festivity. Uh, 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 it's a um, fiesta, and there'll be great food, and they, as I say, you'll be receiving um, lottery tickets in the mail. Um, that's, they'll be free, but um, bring them with you, and um, they'll be auctioning, not auctioning off, but giving away many prizes, beautiful prizes. It's free for everybody, um, so you'll be receiving that. The, the mailing goes out um, on the 30th. Uh, on Wednesday the 30th to all our parishioners and that's where you'll find those lottery tickets to come and bring to enjoy that wonderful opportunity of gathering with both communities Hispanic and Anglo because we're one parish one parish and we need to put up out this sign too that we are one it's one of the great opportunities that we have so I've got a rush right now actually to um the sacrament of anointing for the sick for one of our parishioners who is very ill, uh, Bruce Moore. And um, we want to ask you to pray for him. We pray also for uh, Philippe, our organist and our musician for so many years, our assistant organist. He um, had a real scare and he's well on the road to recovery now, thank God. But he's just coming home today from the hospital. Been in there for a couple of days over in Seattle. And uh, we rejoice that he's back on the road to recovery. Thank God. So it's my pleasure and obligate, well, privilege, privilege and pleasure to um, offer you my blessing. May God the Father bless you and God the Son keep you healthy and well and God the Holy Spirit enlighten you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>